Get off me. Ready? Get off me. More? Yep, I go into their spawn. Their spawn is mine now. Don't see anything to the left. Jump up. Find one. What's this other guy doing? Calling in streaks? Just standing there? Hello? Free kill? What the heck is going on, everybody? We are going to be going in-depth on a review of league play gameplay. I'm in Master Division, by the way. And I'll provide tips on what was done right, what was done wrong, and how to improve. If you enjoy or if you learn something, don't be part of the 74.2% that aren't subscribed. Double check down below and let's get right into it. So we are playing control on Garrison. I'm using the MP5 strictly for purposes of a video, not necessarily because it's good. If you're like wanting to play at the top of your game, the AK-74U is going to be the way to go. I noticed we're down in lives, so I'm alone. I'm the first one pushing right here. Let me pause it. On the minimap, I'm the furthest ahead of all of my teammates, so I need to play my life right here. If I just run straight onto the point and die for my guy sitting in lights, then my my life was for nothing. And all these guys are just going to have to uh, to push past the people that killed me if they want to get on the point. So to make my life more useful, I waste a little bit of time going in vents. I get the kill so the other team knows that I'm here. And so they're having to either turn around or they're, they'll send their guys off spawn to focus more on me. Basically what I'm doing is giving my opponents the best opportunity that they can to push up without necessarily engaging in these gunfights myself because I don't want to get shot in the back from lights or something like that. Anyways, I am pushing up <clears throat> into underground, catch one. That's making this even easier for my team to, to push up and get control of the map. I get taken out right there, um, but as you can see, the control of the map, now it's the three of them pushing up towards B, and I'm the one off spawn. So they gotta hold, they gotta hold down the line, they get two kills, I decided it's safe to push up. If you're ever pushing from this side right here and your teammate does not, your teammates do not have control of mid or green, maybe have somebody floating or something like that, you always need to check mid. Nine times out of 10, there's somebody playing down here watching this cross or top green i noticed that one of my teammates is on the stairs challenging a guy that might be bottom or top green but regardless since nobody is mid i decide that i'll take it on myself and try to get control of that so i push out here i try to get uh green control and I know. end up finding one on b but can't quite finish it out and i just decide since we're already close to a and i don't think anybody's pushing it let's just uh, see what we can do ourselves so me and Connor are just absolutely out here being the duo and trying to find people. One pushes from behind us in green and I just play my life. They, I know that they know I'm here. I'm lucky enough to find one. Um, and I saw the other guy top green. I was too one shot to challenge so I decided to push towards the spawn see if I get any extra kills. I get taken out so it doesn't work out but that's the mindset you have to have. Just be very confident in your plays uh yeah in the plays that you make even if it's not necessarily the best one whatever you chose is the one that you got to commit to so now that we got some kills i want to get another take off the off the cap do and i think at this point with dj and i both in the hill i think we're able to uh to finish out the capture this is a that's a great angle right there to watch the uh to watch the lights push One thing that you don't want to be too antsy on is rotating like the second that you get the point going over to the other one It's not necessarily always the best thing to do You see right there I kind of had an ego and jumped out of lights and there was a guy sitting back spawn if I had more patience and went up The catwalk stairs like I am right now then I, I wouldn't have wasted a life like I did <clears throat> I think I remember losing this guy my movement was kind of chalked and never mind I found him almost snapped on the second Mo picks up the kill. Uh, if I wanted to be a better teammate, I could have ignored those guys mid, just played green and gotten on the point. Um, with all four of us on A, we definitely could have had it captured by now. Right now, I just see that we're up 12 lives to four lives, so I have no no trouble throwing my life away. But if I was if I was playing a lot better, I would have focused on the point. We, we definitely could have had the cap by now. And that's one round in the books. And just so you guys don't think I'm playing against a bunch of bad people, pretty good if you ask me. They're all orange. Got two masters, two elites. Pretty cracked if you ask me. Now to round two, I'm just gonna be running straight down mid. Find one there. And now I'm playing the angle that I was so worried about earlier. Although I ended up deciding to back up. I get the call out that there's somebody mid, so I'm hunting for him. 
I don't necessarily see it. I know they're pushing B, so <clears throat> I just play my life right there. Try to get a free kill. A lot of these plays that I'm making, especially in the beginning of a game, are to get the initial kills, most importantly, and then focus on spawn trapping them. And especially on a map like Garrison, you can do that real easily because there's not too many split spawns. They're always going to spawn in that back area unless you push it out way too hard. <clears throat> and as you see, my team just has complete control of the map. We got people pushed over to the left side. I wouldn't say complete control, actually. That was uh, that was off on my part because there's two pushing Tetris, one top green, and then me right here. They could definitely push down mid if they got good timing here. And the, complete, the entire right side of the map is also open. Um, so that's stuff for me to keep in mind as I'm pushing. I do find one at the plat. I'm able to kill him and I dip towards the left towards my teammates because I know that's what's open. DJ's a real one right there and picks up the uh, picks up the back side, the, the vent side. Um, but basically what the other team's having to do right now is push past our line of defense that, uh, that we built up by getting those initial kills and pushing up. Can't quite get one. Our team is really split right now. As you can see, one is in their deep spawn and the other two are our guys coming off spawn. At that point, I just feel really cracked and uh, and go for the kills. But we're up 20 to 16. At this point, it's just out slaying. Uh, we do have to worry about the point as they're about to cap B. I think I end up losing this right here. Yep. I, I did a solo push right there. With with how it was positioned, that was a really bad on my part. I tried to make a hero play, and I ended up wasting a life. And as you see now, the lives are 15 to 15 instead of us being up like earlier. So if I were to do that again, I would completely give them the B flag and just go ahead and post up, get ready for get ready for A. I find two that are pushing square. You'll notice that a lot of teams will push uh, the square area after cap and B flag. And as you see, just like earlier, I get in these cheeky corners looking for free kills, especially after we ended up go I think we got them three or four down while they were pushing up square. That gives us the opportunity to get some map positioning. I'm not going too far. I'm not going all the way in their spawn because there's going to be three guys coming just from their, from their spawn area looking for me. What I do is I push up, hold a lame corner, and just hard aim. And then hopefully I find one in the back. I let that guy cross so I can get him. And then I've done my job. I got one kill and I played my life. And that I'm something that they have to worry about if they're trying to push onto the flag. I go back to the same lame corners. They ended up uh, sniffing me out. But as you can see, the the amount of map control that our team has right now, it's just like, it's so hard for them to break. They have to kill all four of us before even thinking about getting on the flag. And eight to three with 12 seconds left. Getting about the end of the round, two versus eight. They have to push the flag, one versus eight. And that is a free round two. So again, things that I'm doing right so far is getting really aggressive on aspects of map control, especially after we get numbers down. Things that I need to work on are pushing alone like I did right there in the kill cam. Just knowing when to put my ego to the side and go to the other flag, especially when they already are pretty much done capping it. Alright, doing a pretty standard B push, sending one mid and everybody else over to the B side. I probably shouldn't have gone mid to help out considering we had multiple people looking there. I should have just gone straight on the point. I see we get four down, so I push up. I know they're going to be off spawn somewhere. Where I messed up right there is checking the left. I already had the cover on triple boxes. If you ever push up to there, find the cover on triple boxes and then keep hard aiming bricks. Especially when they're going to be off spawn like that. Mo and I make the big mistake of lining up and we're three down. Now here is how you end up getting control of your spawn again. There's three of us here. They're doing exactly what I was talking about earlier where you get the wave of kills, you push up and hold them to their spawn, but don't push too far. Let's see if they make any mistakes right here. Clearing out this right side. 
destroy that guy that is uh, holding holding dark. What he could have done different is pushed up to a weirder angle. With how he was positioned right there, it made it really easy for me to get that kill. If he was playing like a funky corner or something, he could have done that a uh, a lot better. Spot one top green. We end up getting two kills. That's huge for Mo and Connor. Come on, DJ. Hop back on B. I really have to go big right here because my teammates aren't with me. And I wasn't quite able to get it done. What we could have done differently right there is pushed as a team. I think we split sites, which isn't necessarily the worst idea. But we weren't able to get the kills to justify it. Now DJ and I again are alone, He's pushing the B side. One behind us gets absolutely whipped on. Three down. I really like this spot as well. When people have control of mid, like square, um, and you can't get snuck up on, or if people are watching your lights, I really like this box corner. Because you can watch top green from there, you can watch the mid cross, and you're safe from uh, all the crazy stuff that can happen in lights sometimes. Now here, I go absolutely off. I need to stop before we play the rest of this clip. This is just, it's perfection of what to do when you're able to get control of their spawn. I find one um, at the archway. I look for the next one, Bricks. And I know, especially, oh, hold on. I see two of them there, one on A flag and then one top cat. If these guys decide to keep pushing the point, which they, I assume they will, they could easily turn around and kill me. I know that I am free to spawn trap those two guys I just killed because they're going to be back here. And so what I do is I wait in bricks, I check the deep spawn right here, don't see anything so I know they're spawning back left. Alright, those are the two main spawn points, they're going to be back here and then all the way back to my right. I find one, I know that the other guy, if he hadn't pushed this already, is going to be rotating back to push A from that side. So I'm going to push out here, check my left, find him, look for the pistol kill, and I get it. And I know at this point, since I pushed out the left, they're probably going to be spawning that, that way. So this is just, it's too easy for me. It's too easy. That, that's the spawn trapping that you need to, uh, you need to get that timing down. Um, and it's just, at, at this point, it's over. They completely lost composure. We, uh, you know. We've done it. That's the victory for us. 3-0 against some uh, some some league play grinders with an MP5, nonetheless. All right, so just imagine what it's like when you got an AK-74U and you're doing all this crazy stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something. If you did or if you have any more tips for control, leave them down below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.